I had a lot of fun with this pretty little cake. It's kind of a miniature wedding cake. It's for a couple that are getting married in their home, more for a party, and they weren't going to have a big wedding cake, so the bride's best friend had me make her a surprise miniature wedding cake as a gift to her for her wedding. She wanted everything to be super subtle, except she wanted the avocado and green color, avocado green color in there with some purple to match the dress, just as a splash of color. The original cake that she sent me is a gorgeous Ron Ben Israel design where they took some lace and actually created the molds to match the cake to the bride's lace. Well, obviously I didn't have the same mold, so I tried to come as close as I could and just used a lot of different cutters. Like I have daisy cutters, rose cutters, hydrangeas, calyx, um, dogwoods, just different things and then molded some leaves, put in some sugar pearls, stacked some on top of each other, just tried to get creative with the cutters. The top tier of the cake is red velvet with white chocolate buttercream filling. And the bottom tier is vanilla sour cream pound cake. And it also has the white chocolate buttercream filling. The coating is of course fondant, both the uh, ivory underlayment and the white flowers. And then the green flower is made of gum paste and fondant and it actually has inedible stamens and rhinestones on it. As you can see in the middle there so it's got some glitter. But what I did was I applied petals to the cake, did a brush embroidery technique and then painted them and then I pre-made gum paste petals to give the three-dimensional effect and just glued those on to the rose with white chocolate. Well, I hope that the bride and groom have a fantastic wedding. I really enjoyed making this cake. I think this all over lace design is absolutely gorgeous and I hope you enjoy it too.